it's Tara here from Autism Little Learners. I'm a speech language pathologist and I uh, founded Autism Little Learners. And I'm here to talk to you again about the Preschool Autism Summit, just in case you haven't heard or if you're on the fence about whether to get your free ticket or upgrade to the All Access Pass. I wanna be able to answer your questions here. So if you have questions, pop them into the comments. I wanted to share some absolutely exciting news on this Friday night. It's gonna start your weekend off really, really great. As of tonight, we have, let me get the exact number, um, 25,328 people signed up for the free ticket in the Preschool Autism Summit. You guys, I started this summit, I started planning it back last fall, but then it really picked up in January. And I was like, I'll be happy with however many people come. If it's 100, that's great. I just wanted to get out this important information and strategies to educators, especially at the preschool level where oftentimes, well, a lot of the time, we don't have training, professional development, that is actually geared toward that age level. So that was my big goal, was to provide relevant, up-to-date professional development for the preschool level for working with young autistic kids that actually applied to our day in and day out what you all do in the classroom as a special education teacher, as a speech language pathologist, occupational therapist. And I have to tell you, I did not expect to have 25,328 people sign up for this, you guys. It's incredible. And I wanna tell you more than that number or why that number matters. So if you take that 20, we'll just round it to 25,000. 25,000 people signed up. If each of those people works with 10 young autistic kids, you do 25,000 times 10, that's 250,000. And that means we are collectively, as a group, impacting a quarter million young autistic kids with strategies that can make their lives better, strategies that can support compassion over compliance. And if, if these educators speech language pathologists, OTs, paraprofessionals that are in the summit taking in these presentations by the amazing speakers, if they all just take away one idea, one strategy to put into place in their classroom this fall, think of that. 250,000 kids, just one idea, one strategy is going to have an incredible impact on making the classrooms and educational environment even better for kids. And that's why I wanted to put this summit together, okay? Now, the other thing to think about is the educators, okay? Some people are still learning what neurodiversity affirming means, okay? And you can't make better what you don't know. So if there are educators that attend the summit with their free ticket, they take away one piece of information, an aha moment, a key takeaway that starts to change their mindset. They start to make the shift and go, oh yeah, this makes sense. This is the seed that gets planted. So not everyone coming to the summit is like, my classroom is completely neurodiversity affirming. I know what Gestalt language processing is. I know all about sensory differences. Um, I know how to use AAC. Like a lot of people are coming in with kind of the old school, outdated strategies. And there's no shame in that because when you know better, you do better. We've all had that point. I remember that point when I was saying with autism, my student with autism. And I didn't know about identity first language versus person first language because 
in college, in undergrad and graduate school. It was drilled into us. And I've talked to so many people that it was exactly the same, not even that long ago. Person first language was drilled into us. So child with autism, or he has autism. And about probably six years ago now, I had I was in an IEP meeting with a student and his parent, and she was a wonderful advocate for him. And she wanted in his IEP, in the somewhere in there, to say that we will refer to him as autistic instead of saying with autism. And I know that the special ed teacher that I team taught with, we were like, what is she talking about? Like, we have been taught that that is not what we say. If I in grad school would have said autistic child, we would have probably been scolded, okay? So for a lot of people making the shift from kind of those old school techniques, language strategies, to more neurodiversity affirming strategies is a journey and it has to start somewhere. A seed needs to be planted. And I think this summit is gonna do that for so many people. Imagine if the 25,000 people signed up for the free ticket, if half of them didn't know anything about what it means to be neurodiversity affirming. And that seed was planted because once you know, then you start hearing and seeing more and more and more, and that's how your skills are built, right? That's how you start to make that shift slowly and over time until you're on this side, right? And so this is why it's so important to continue to spread the word about this summit because it starts on Monday and that's only a few days away. We actually have a kickoff call Sunday. So I want you to tell five people about the summit and send them the link www.preschoolautismsummit.com and tell them to sign up. One in 36 kids is diagnosed autistic. And so most people you know are impacted in some way or have some connection to an autistic child. So share with friends, share with family, put it on your Facebook page, put it in your Instagram stories. Sign up, encourage people to sign up because you and me together and my the speakers at the summit, we are the ones that can spread this word and start planting the seeds of change into people that maybe don't know what all of this is about yet, okay? So what it all comes down to when we're talking about planting the seeds is the kids. When we provide environments where autistic kids can thrive and they can be honored for who they are, we can presume competence and take the things that they love, their special interests, and help them use that within the learning activities so that kids are happy and comfortable and less stressed. Sarah, I see your, your question. Is there interpretation available for the summit? Um, let me know exactly what you mean. Is it uh, for somebody who is hearing impaired or deaf and hard of hearing and needs uh, closed captioning? So closed captioning is available. Um, Oh, Spanish. Okay. Ugh, we do not have that at this point, um, but it is something I will look into definitely for the future. Okay. Um, I Like I said, I did not know this summit was going to turn as big as it is or that it has. And so we are, it's me, literally me and my assistant, Lori, who's my best friend. And she lives about four miles from me. We live in Wisconsin on the border of Minnesota. And so I have a shirt on right now. I think it shows up backwards in here, but it says in my summit era, because both of both Lori and I are eating, breathing, sleeping, <laughs> preparing for this summit to make it be the best that it can be for you. So go to preschoolautismsummit.com. And what I wanna really drive home is that this is for the kids. When it comes down to it, it's about the kids. It's about making the environments at school better for young autistic kids, okay? And 
one of the things that we need to do is just keep spreading the word about the summit, getting more and more people in, because we have 25,000. Trickle down effect means we're, as a group here, impacting 250,000 kids. Now the summit starts Monday, July 15th, this Monday. And what I want you to do, if you haven't gotten your ticket, is do it now. Because you may, let's say you get your free ticket, you may decide to upgrade to the All Access Pass. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. And the reason it's important to know about this now is because the All Access Pass has early bird pricing only through Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So I don't want you to pay regular price if you can get it at a discount. At the discounted price of $77, the early bird price, you get to have access to the presentations for an entire year. So if you take that $77 and you split it up over 12 months, it comes to $6.40 a month, okay? And think of what you could give up that $6.40 each month to cover the price of this that will give you access for a year so you can come back to these presentations and one at a time really implement the strategies that speak to you. And so anyway, um, you can comment AAP or um, you can DM me and I'll send you the link for the All Access Pass if that's something you wanna upgrade to. Remember, you can get a free ticket and you can, um, the way the free ticket works is on Monday, the eight presentations the day one presentations will be released at 8 a.m. Central Time and you'll have 24 hours to watch them. And then they go away and day two comes up. Same thing. So if you're saying, well, I have something going on. I don't have time to do this on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. No problem. If you upgrade to the All Access Pass, then you'll have it for a year. You can come back to it yourself. You can train your paraprofessionals using it. Watch it as a group, as a team. And you can also... Um, You'll have access to a private podcast so you can listen on the go to like the audio versions of all of the presentations. And it's just one of those things where if you really want to take in this information, sometimes when you're learning, coming back to it later or when you're middle of the year and you're like, oh gosh, I have a student that could be supported by one of the strategies I heard in the summit so you're going to want to come back to it, okay? So those are the things that I really wanted to touch on. But if you sign up now, um, you're going to get the link and be able to sign up for the kickoff call, which is Sunday night. It's Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, both for free ticket and all access pass holders. And a kickoff call, I'm going to tell you all about the summit, how it runs, what to expect. And then... Sunday night, after I talk about that, Stephanie from Lily's Voice is going to join me. And she is going to tell you all about Lily's Voice. She It's a nonprofit she created after going through a lot to try to get her daughter Lily a robust AAC device at a young age. And it was so difficult that she now has a nonprofit that supports people who are either denied by insurance or the price after the minimal insurance coverage is enormous. She believes, as we all do, that communication, being able to communicate, communicate is a basic human right. And people should not be barred from having that based on insurance or financial um, struggles with and being able to afford the device. So she has a nonprofit where people can apply ages 2 to 18, and if their insurance has denied them or the price is astronomical, um, they go through and they process these applications. She'll tell us more about it on, on Sunday night, and I'm so excited. You'll be able to ask her some questions. But she provides, her organization provides AAC devices for kids 2 to 18 years old. It's incredible. And the reason I'm having her on is because the Preschool Autism Summit has committed to donating a portion of the proceeds to Lily's Voice. 
So by buying an all access pass, you're contributing to Lily's voice and to kids who need them getting robust AAC devices. Like, it's amazing, you guys. So if you wanna talk to Stephanie, hop on the kickoff call on Sunday night, but you have to have either your free ticket to the summit, www.preschoolautismsummit.com, or upgrade to the All Access Pass. The other thing we're doing Sunday night after we talk to Stephanie from Lily's Voice is I'm gonna stay on and do a live make and take training where I'm gonna talk to you about adapted books and how to adapt a book that you have at home. And I'm going to give you the visual pieces. Actually, they're available in the Summit Hub to download now and print, but it's the pieces to Brown Bear, Brown Bear, the, the board book, and we're gonna adapt that book together. So you're gonna walk away with a new adapted book and I may have snuck in some visual art projects to go with the book that have each animal in a visual art project form with visuals right on the sheet. So you're definitely gonna want that. Then, um, so that, uh, that make and take is available to everybody, free ticket and all access pass. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, I'm gonna be doing three more live make and take sessions where you get printables from me at no additional cost. And I walk you through why to use them, how to use them. And so we're gonna create more activities that you can take away for the classroom. And so the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night make and takes are for all access pass holders. So that's another reason you maybe wanna think about upgrading to the all access pass. Do it before Sunday night, because the price goes up to $117 on Monday but you can get it for 77 now through Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. And remember, $77 divided by 12 months, 12 months, which is how long you have the access, is only $6.40 a month. Okay, I'm gonna end tonight by reminding you that over 25,000 people have signed up for the Preschool Autism Summit, the free ticket. And why this is important is because if those 25,000 people have 10 kids in their class on their caseload uh, that they, young autistic kids that they work with, that means as a whole, if you are part of the summit, we are now going to be impacting a quarter million kids. 25,000 times 10, 250,000 kids that are gonna be positively impacted. And it's, it's all about the kids. It's all about us learning how to serve them better, support them better. And if you wanna do that with me and with the uh, incredible speakers that are on board, just go to www.preschoolautismsummit, grab your free ticket, share that link everywhere. And if you are inclined, you can upgrade to the all access pass. Okay, if you sign up now, you can get into our Facebook group and start chatting. We have some pre-summit homework in there and you can do some of this little homework and be in the running to win prizes all weekend long. There's still time. Okay, I will see you inside the summit and DM me if you need a link or if you have a question. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.